Uh, praise the Lord, brethren. Once again, I greet you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus and also welcome you to our Sunday service, trusting that the Lord has kept you well in his grace and in his mercy. I want to share with you the word of God from the book of Psalms 119 and verses 160. 119, 160. The Bible says, leading in NIV, all your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. Father God, I thank you. And I bless you for this word this morning. Pray that it shall help us to understand in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, I want to share this message. Thy word is true and worthy of all acceptation. Isaiah said that the word of the Lord that cometh from his mouth shall never go back to him void until it has accomplished the thing it is sent to do. And Jeremiah said that God is watching over his word to do it. Man's word can be not true, but God's word is true and worthy of all acceptation. Today I want you to believe that what the Lord has said concerning your life shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. No matter what it is. Could be possibly you're sick this morning. You're going through a challenge. But the Lord has told you he's coming to help you. Just believe the word of the Lord. He told Jehoshaphat, stand still and see my deliverance. We must stand still and see what God is doing. At times, there could be many things trying to communicate something contrary to what the Lord has said or promised in our lives. But trust his word. He will do what he said he'll do. No matter what. He observes his word to do it. And the other beautiful thing is that he makes all things beautiful in his time. Did he tell you? Then wait upon him. Man can be liar. God alone abides to be true. If you read the, book, the Bible in the book of Genesis 15. Abraham was like losing hope in God's word. Because God had said, leave in chapter 12. Let's go together. I'll bless you. I'll bless you. Make you a great nation. But up to chapter 15 of Genesis, nothing had happened. And he comes again and said, Abraham, I'm your great reward. I'm your blessing. And he said, I mean, you've done nothing in my life. And even what I have will go with my servant. And God said, no, I'll give you a son from your ruins. It was like losing faith in God. But God told him, wait upon my word. And God blessed him with a son called Isaac. Even when you feel like it is not going to happen, let's continue hoping again and again. The Bible says Abraham hoped against hope. He was getting old. He became an old man, 100 years. Salah was getting old, 90 years. But God kept on saying, my word is true. And what of our acceptation. Wait upon me. I'll do my word. The word of the Lord in your life can never go back to him void. It must accomplish what he has sent it to do. When he releases a word over your life, you cannot even die. Because God cannot be a liar. He told Caleb when they went to spy the land with Joshua. That when you come back, I'll give you this mountain through Moses. And Joshua and Caleb never died in the wilderness. When they came back, Caleb went to Joshua and said, You are my witness what the Lord spoke to me when we had come to spy. That was 45 years ago. He said, I stood by this mountain, the foothill of this mountain, when I was 40 years. Now I'm 85 years old and I'm as stronger than before because God's word is true and worthy of our acceptation. Man's word can be lies but God's word is true men can lie but God will remain to be faithful forever now I want you to believe that whatever God has said he must do he must do wait upon him sometimes you feel like it's getting too hot on your side but don't run away don't give up don't surrender don't retreat stick to the word God is observing, is watching by his word to do it. Did he talk about the healing? Then wait upon him. He's a healer. 
He says, I'm the Lord God, your healer. I sent my world and I healed your disease. I want to remind you again, God's word is true. And the word of the Lord will never go back to him void. It must accomplish the thing he has sent it to do. Has he released a word over your life? It must work for you. Don't be afraid. There are so many things around your life that might be wanting to communicate something contrary and trying to say that you cannot make it. But I want to tell you, you will make it. Don't look on the left or the right. Look unto Jesus. Lift your eyes to Jesus and look unto him. He's the author and the finisher of our faith. Don't lose your faith. Don't lose your ground. Wait upon God. He's faithful. When he promises, he does it. His name be glorified. Wait upon God. His word is true. I want to pray with you. Lord, I thank you. And I bless you this morning. You're reminding us that God, your word is true. It was true to Abraham. It was true to Isaac. It was true to Jacob. It was true to David. It was true to Solomon. It was true to all the men and women that he spoke to in the Bible. Today you're speaking to us, reminding us that, Lord, men can be liars, but all, you alone abide to be true. And your word that you've released to us can never come back to you void. It must accomplish the thing you send it to do. And God, I thank you because you make it all things beautiful in your time. Some of us are going through issues in life and challenges. Some are sick. Some feel like doors are closed up. Some of the miracles have not come like Abraham and we feel like giving up. But I pray that none of us will give up because your word to us is true and no other word acceptation. I give you glory, God, because you're helping us to continue hanging on upon your word. Your word is true. Tell us in a way, Lord, you alone is able to tell us. Tell that sister, that brother, that your word is true to them. And as you say to Abraham, I'm coming to bless you. And you blessed him, Lord. We know your word is true. And all the acceptation. In Jesus' name we pray and trust. Amen. Mm -hmm.